Well, many of us already feel a little uncomfortable surrounded by walls of tractor trailers on the highway, but what if the trucks were driving themselves? The company Waymo started testing out self-driving semis on Texas roads this week. KXAN's Chris Davis is live here in Austin. Chris, Waymo is interested in mapping out the trip from Texas out to New Mexico, right? Yeah, the company calls that an interesting and promising commercial route. That's a quote. So you might not be seeing these trucks here on I-35 anytime soon, but truck industry insiders tell us that if this tech is really going to work, it's going to have to be tested here sooner or later. Truck drivers spend their lives on the road, day and night. You didn't make your bed this morning. No, I just woke up. Just woke up. Monsieur Diagne has been behind the wheel since 2012. He worries about sharing the road with a self-driving truck that doesn't share his same instincts. They're not going to necessarily react like, like a human being. They will react according to a program. Waymo's long-haul trucks will have someone in the driver's seat for the tests. And industry insiders say that'll be the case for a long time. Automated trucking is a great buzzword, but it is driver assisted trucking. The Texas Trucking Association hears from a lot of truckers concerned about losing their jobs. You won't have to go far to find one. But the group's president doesn't see that happening in the foreseeable future. In fact, he says automation will make the roads safer because it can detect more than a human can take in all at once. Waymo is testing mostly on Texas interstates like I-10, I-20, and I-45. No mention specifically of the delay-prone I-35. But you will ultimately have to test those products in those areas. Traffic in Austin is like just a killer. Diagne's regular route from Laredo to Dallas is entirely on I-35, the lucky guy. He doesn't think robots will put him out of a job anytime soon, but still. It's a concern. I guess you wonder what's going to happen. Now, Waymo, which is owned by uh, Google's parent company, Alphabet Inc., it's already tested these trucks in California, Georgia, and Arizona. We'll send it back to you. All right, Chris, very interesting. Waymo says it gave the first ride ever in a fully autonomous car in Austin in 2016. Those cars are no longer being tested here. In September of last year, Ford announced it's bringing driverless cars to Austin. Human drivers will help the cars map out everything in the area and override the car when needed as they roll them out. The cars have four different types of technology to help them sense surroundings. That includes lasers, cameras, radar, and ultrasonic sensors. The Ford cars are expected to hit the streets next year. Yeah.